Well, groups of neighbors from across the Queen City are asking city leaders to think outside of the coop and come up with some new regulations to address farm animals here in Buffalo. Well, several block clubs asking the Common Council to address the non-urban farming livestock here in Buffalo, citing that there are, you heard right, alpacas, sheep, goats, lambs, and pigs, all kept on city lots. Well, tonight, the voices of those calling for some order as city lawmakers weigh in on the stricter fines those with non-permitted animals may soon face. You know, the chickens is out the coop, but we want to put them back in. More than 10 neighborhood block clubs have come together to address what you might consider to be an unlikely problem in the city of Buffalo. Chickens, turkeys, and roosters freely roaming the streets of Buffalo. You know, people are, are they're, they're tired of it. They don't want to see a wild animal on their front lawn, you know, whatever they're doing out of their space because there's an ordinance in place. Now these neighbors are asking the Common Council to do something about it through the think tank, the chickens out of the coop, in hopes of reinforcing the ordinance that's already in place. That ordinance says chickens that are licensed and registered must stay in fenced in backyards. There was a blatant disrespect for the neighbors and also a blatant disrespect for the ordinance that's on the books. So it has to be some teeth for the lack of a phrase, better phrase to use in this ordinance to make people comply. The group even spoke in front of the Common Council last week. Council so members tell me they are open to trying to remedy and repair the system. That there's an issue at a certain property and then permits and inspections would send an inspector out to take a look and make sh and verify that there is an issue there. Um, and then, you know, the animals could be seized, you could get ticketed, all of the above. Um, they've done the homework, they've done the legwork, and now we have to get the work as far as what we need to do to make sure that we strengthen the laws, to make sure that people do this and they do it the right way. Council member Zanetta Everhart, who has been working with the think tank, sent me this statement. Quote, we're currently awaiting feedback from the Corporation Council on our proposal, which aims to strengthen Strengthen the chicken ordinance with a community involved requirements. These include an increased permit fee, signatures from 75% of neighbors within the three block radius, stricter violation enforcement, and city access for investigation and abatement. We just need to be better neighbors. And we're just asking the city to sort of look into that and bring us into the 21st century. Jordan Johnson, 7 News, Buffalo.